This flooding exercise has come about because the community experienced serious flooding about 18 months ago. Since then we've had a, a lot of developments, residents have brought their own property protection and we now have flood wardens and the idea of tonight's event is to, but to do it in a practice environment so people can learn from that experience. We've formed a group after a lot of flooding, in, which was tidal flooding in 2014. In this time we've actually managed to get a lot of properties with defences and everything and we really needed to test that. We, we've got a small core group. Um, and we do the coordination. But the main role that we've got is that of flood wardens. And we have a dozen or so people from the community who have been trained and they can now act as flood wardens. Our aim as a flood warden is to keep the community safe. If we're advised by the local authority to close a road, we will put a sign up to close it and try and prevent traffic from going down because that can cause as much damage as the flood with the bow wave from a vehicle. You, you don't go into flood waters, that isn't part of your uh, issue. You're there just to aid, not, not to, otherwise you could become a problem yourself. So the uh, emergency group consists of a mixture of people from residents, um, local business people, some councillors as well, which is important. Um, we've got a mixture of people. It's not just the people that are affected by flooding. Our, our local knowledge is vital because um, when a situation happens on the ground, we know the layout, we know the difficulties, we know where water ponds as opposed to flowing through. We will know where vulnerable people live as well. So in that respect, we can be of great assistance to the, uh, to, to the authorities. But it's really, really important to be prepared. Uh, the more preparation we can do, the more we can help people get their flood defences all in place. It's very important to reassure the residents. We're hoping that actually they'll realise we're there just to help them and make sure that if, if something does happen, then we can be there for them. Well, I feel a lot more confident now that I've got these new defences, which are relatively easy to to put in. We've agreed it locally uh, with the uh, Topsham um, group that we'd all provide flood defences and, and uh, help other people use them. And residents that don't have them we will help with sandbags if possible or escort them to safety. But also we work very closely with the uh, both with the City Council who were very helpful uh, in the real flooding incident in providing sandbags for us at the time where we didn't have property protection. We also work with the County Council as well and other agencies such as the Environment Agency and the Fire and Rescue Service. So at the end we're going to have a debrief and we'll really just be able to see what we've done well, what we need to improve on. So we'll be taking the learning points that we draw from the, the exercise and we will be looking to update our plans and get the message out there that people need to in, invest in their own property protection. The two key outcomes of the exercise I would like to see are firstly that our flood wardens are, are better prepared to go out and they understand the protocols and what their role entails. Secondly, we want residents to be better to be prepared when an incident actually happens. That means by doing that, by being prepared, they will minimise damage to their own properties and the environment in general in Topsham. I was a girl guide. <laughs> Be prepared is the motto. <laughs> <laughs>